In this video, I'm going to show you how to use scenes in Adobe Animate CC. So the easiest way to think about scenes in Adobe Animate is basically to think of them as a different or new shot or angle in a video. So like in a movie, when the camera switches from one shot to the next, in Animate, the new shot would be a new scene. All right, so now let's take a look at how to add scenes in Adobe Animate and how to use them. So the first thing we need is obviously a new document. So I'm gonna go up to File and New, and you'll see in here when this panel opens up that you're gonna pick your resolution, doesn't matter, but the thing you need to be aware of is over here. So platform type, not all platform types work with scenes. So HTML5, for example, doesn't, but ActionScript 3.0 does, because that's the one that you would typically pick if you're trying to do an animation for like export to a video in the end. So I'm gonna pick ActionScript 3.0 and click Create. And as usual, a blank stage opens up. I'm just gonna go Fit to Window. And if we look up top here, you can see the default is always for Animate to open up with just Scene 1. If I click this drop down, it's only Scene 1. And that's how it used to be in the past, is just one scene and that's all you could pick from. But we wanna add new scenes. So to do that, you go up to Window and down to Scene right here. And a floating panel, Scene panel, is gonna open up like this. And you can leave it floating like this or you can click on the Scene tab here and drag it over here and dock it in with your properties, library, and scene. So now that we have this, whether it's docked or the panel is floating, if you wanna add a new scene, you just go down to the bottom right here of the panel, and you're gonna see three options. The first one is just add scene, and if we click on that one, it's gonna add a blank canvas or blank stage, and that's gonna be completely different and brand new from the first one. So let's say on this first one I had something drawn in here like this. If I add a new scene, I'll, I'll do another one right here. If I had a new scene, it's just a blank canvas. But if I go to the next one right here, I'm gonna go back to scene one. If I wanna duplicate that scene, I want another copy of this so I can continue editing that one after scene two and scene three happens, then I go down to use this second one here, which is duplicate scene. It's gonna duplicate it and put it right after scene one. So you might have to double click. So if you wanna rename any of these from scene one, scene two, whatever, to anything you want, just double click and you can go in here and change it. So I'm obviously gonna put this one as just scene four for now. And then to reorganize these, you just click on any one and you can just drag it. You see that yellow line? So I'm gonna move this one down to the end as scene four. So anytime you wanna rearrange them, just click them, drag them, and move them to where you want, in the order that you want. And then obviously if there's any scene that you don't want, so I have two blank scenes here, let's say I just want one, then all you have to do is go down here to the trash can, click it to delete scene, and click OK. Okay, so now to get a better idea of how you can use scenes and what it actually looks like, I'm gonna go over to a file that I've already created, so I have one scene here, so I've just left them as scene one. So I'm gonna go, this one I'm gonna rename robot one. And I've made one quick little scene here. So if I push play, you'll see he just raises his arms and kind of tilts his head. Then I can click over to scene two, and this is gonna be alien one. And you'll see the alien just starts floating up and his mouth kind of changes and head kind of bends, that's about it. And then if I click over to scene two, it's back to the robot. And I'm gonna double click and call this one robot two. And so there's three different scenes. And this one is, you think it's just the alien that's rising up, but now he's actually raising his own head off of his own body. So this is all good. We have scene one, scene two, scene three. But if we play any of them individually, so if I just play this one, it'll play here and it will stop. So how do we play them all together? Well, when you, if you export them, they're gonna export all back to back to back, but to preview them, you just go up to control and go to test, and you're gonna see that it's gonna, whoops, this is way too big. Let's just do this. So you'll see that it'll play them back to back in a loop. So there's the first one, it cuts to the second scene, and it's gonna cut right to the third scene, and then just loop again. So if I wasn't using scenes, then I would have to have everything that I have, that I've all these layers that I've dealt with building the background and the robot, 
on this one scene if it was just scene one, remember? And then I would also have every layer right here that I have to build the alien in this background all on the same scene. So I would have this one I already have, what's this, like 10 layers? And if I add the alien ones, that's another, what, nine, eight, nine here. So instead of having them broken up into separate pieces, little chunks, they'd all be on one and it'd be a lot more confusing, all those layers, especially if you were doing a more complex edit than this. So to end the video, I'm just gonna show you how I would copy this alien scene and move it to scene four. So I don't wanna just have robot, alien, robot. I want my whole animation to be robot, alien, robot, and then back to the alien thing. So to copy this one, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go to duplicate right at the bottom. It's gonna make alien one copy. I'm gonna drag it to my fourth scene here and name this one alien two. Now, you'll notice that it's gonna be the exact same animation, right? But I don't want that. I don't want it to repeat. So in order to reset this, I'm just gonna slide this up. I'm gonna click on right, these are my last keyframes. I'm gonna click right before it, slide down here, go all the way across, and then right click, and I'm gonna go remove frames. So now on this one, when it cuts to this fourth scene here, I'm actually at the same point that this one ended off at, right? So this one ends off there, and then Alien 2 is gonna pick up right at that exact same spot. Now, since he was floating up in this one, then by the time it's done Robot 2, like this third scene, and it comes back to here, he's obviously gonna be higher up than he was when he ended right here. So what I would do first is I would go to Alien 2 here, I would select everything that has to do with the alien, not the background. So sun, ground, cactus, I'm not gonna touch. I'm just gonna click on body, the body layer, hold down the click and slide up so I can select all of the ones that have to do with the alien here. And then I would just raise them up a little bit more so that kind of, it would kind of blend in like he'd be a little bit higher from here to here. So that looks a little bit more natural. Then I'm just gonna go to two seconds because that's, what I was doing before is every two seconds, I'm gonna slide in here and I'm just gonna, this is just quick insert keyframes there so I can animate something else here. So when I look at this last one, kind of raises up a bit and then just kind of, I would make this go a lot faster. So maybe, you know, move these keyframes like over to here. So he raises up a little bit slower, he's going up and then boom, just falls to the ground. That's a dumb animation, but that's just showing you how I would kind of mess with it. And then something else you would, really consider using this with is probably the camera tool right here. So in this case, maybe I don't want, actually maybe I'll go back to robot two. So now I can go back to the robot two layer and then maybe on this one, instead of having it as the same, you know, kind of camera angle, like a wide shot here, maybe this one I want a close up. So a very simple way to do that is if you go to the camera tool here, so you add camera, you see it adds a layer here. And then I can actually just use this to kind of zoom in if I want kind of a more of a close up and you can see if you just click I can also drag if I go left it's going to move the the shot to the right and I can kind of just realign this so when his head's coming off maybe I just get like a little bit of a closer look there kind of a zoom in so now when we look here we have robot one it's wide we have alien one that's raising up robot two where his head's coming off but now it's zoomed in we've used the camera tool to zoom in and then alien two still floating up and then falls to the ground and then finally when you're completely done and you want to export here's one thing you have to do so make sure you go up to file export go to export video slash media and you're going to pick whatever format you want so i'm going to go h.264 high quality 1080p i've picked the folder that i'm going to export to and you're gonna name it. So if I'm gonna click on here and go scenes, camera, I'm gonna go final, and in my animate folder, click save. The big thing you have to remember is to go to span, okay? So right now it's just span as robot one. So it's only gonna export this scene right here. So to export all of them, you're gonna open this up, the drop down, and go all scenes, if you want all scenes. So I'm gonna click all scenes, and now when I click export, it's gonna send it over to Adobe Media Encoder. I have my format and quality set, so I'm just gonna click play, and you can see that it's gonna export down here each of the scenes. 
So now when I go to play the video, it will have all four scenes playing back to back in one video. And that's it. That's how you use scenes in Adobe Animate and Camera Tool. So if you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And I'll catch you next time.